Welcome back to the channel. My name is Busi and this is a space where I explore different forms of self-care that can help you be your best self. Now there are a number of ways that you can own each day and one of those ways is practicing gratitude every day and setting clear intentions for each day. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. How do you do all of that? There are three things that you need to remember to do every day. And the first one is writing your gratitude list. So make a list of 10 things that you are grateful for. This can be at the end of your day. You write the reasons why you're grateful for whatever it is that you've written down. Now, the reason why it's so important to write your why that's because it helps you really get into that emotion of feeling very grateful for whatever it is that you've written down on your paper, whether it's family or it's your job. If you say, I'm grateful for my family, and then you list your reasons why, you know, they provide a safe space for me. I get a lot of love from them. They keep me grounded. Those are things that can really help you get into your why for that particular thing. And if it's your job, you can say things like, I am grateful for my job because it helps me pay the bill at the end of the month. I mean, that's a very big thing and it can help you feel very grateful for what you already have. So it's very important that you write out what you are grateful for but also get very specific on why you're grateful for it. And that's going to help you get into that emotion of feeling that gratitude instead of just writing down a list of 10 things and forgetting about it and saying, oh, well, yeah, I did my list for the day. The whole intention of it is to get you to a point where you're really feeling through that gratitude of whatever it is that you're writing down. I say write a list of 10 things every day. You can mix it up, you know, do whatever feels right for you on that day. You could literally write three things if on that day that's where you want to take it. You can make it longer than 10 things or you can just make it five things. It's really up to you. But the most important thing is you're not just writing a list for the sake of writing a list, but you're actually thinking about the things and you're feeling through those emotions of gratefulness for whatever it is that you're putting down. Now, after you've written your list, whether you've put down three things, five things, 10 things, maybe 20 things, you're going to go through your list again and read every single thing that you've written on there and feel through those gratitude emotions that come up with every single thing that you've listed on your list. And that's the first thing done. Now, while you're starting out with this own your day method that I'm teaching you today, you're going to do your list of 10 things. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is you're going to list three intentions that you have for the day. List at least three intentions that you want to have for either the next day. So if you're doing it the night before, so just before bed, if you're doing it in the morning, you're writing three intentions for that day that you're beginning. Okay. The key on this one is to try and make your intentions around your body, your mind and your spirit. It doesn't have to be that way, but it's one of those things that I find help me have a more balanced day because there are things that I'm not leaving out because I didn't put them down on paper. So for example, you could put down things like my intention for today is to eat healthy and to work out. That helps your mind, it helps your body, you know, it helps you throughout your day with a whole bunch of other things like having energy to get through your work, but it's a pillar that you can put on your list of intentions for that day. So eating healthier and working out on that day, that can be one. Number two, you can say, my intention for today is when I'm at work, I want to have or create a more authentic connection with the particular individual that you work with. Maybe you're sensing that there's something that's lacking in the connection that you have and you can make it your intention. Maybe you have a meeting with them and you will have that time to foster a relationship and build on the relationship that you already have with them. So you can make it your intention to make a more authentic connection with that person. And if you're more intentional with it, you're going to be conscious when you do come across that person that, oh, okay, I have this intention with this person and you'll be more present in that particular environment that you're with them in. And again, with setting intentions, you can make it one intention for the day. 
if that's where you are that's the space that you fire you feel you're in at that particular time that's okay you don't have to make it a list of three things or you don't have to keep it at just three things it can be more than that it really depends on how your day looks okay now the third thing that i want you to do you will start doing it the second day after you start working on this own your day method or own each day method so the third thing that you do is reflect on the previous day right but now the order kind of changes once you get to a point where you have written intentions for a previous day and now you're reflecting on those intentions so when you get to that point which should be from the second day going forward the first thing that you're going to do is write your gratitude list write your gratitude list and remember to list why you're grateful for everything you're writing down and then also read through your list that's number one and the second thing you're going to do is reflect on the previous day's intentions how did things go did you manage to do everything that you intended on doing and i'm not talking from a task level not tasks as in maybe i need to edit a video or i need to submit that proposal no i'm talking about intentions so from that did you eat healthy if you didn't eat healthy, what are some of the things that you can change? What made you not eat healthy? Maybe you didn't have enough time to pack a lunch and when you were buying lunch, you couldn't find a place that was close enough to buy healthier, a healthier option with the time that you have for your break at work or your day just got too busy and you ended up grabbing whatever was the next best thing that was closest to you, whatever that looks like for you and the intentions that you wrote down, write that down and be sure to note whether something worked for you or not because there's no way you can start to change things if you don't even realize that you're doing them or there's things you want to be doing but you're not actually taking the action to get those things done so writing things down helps in that you know you get to see what it is that you actually want to be doing what it is you want to be accomplishing, whether it's the connections that you're making, it's getting into a more healthier shape, getting more fit. Write those things down and then monitor how you're actually doing on those things each and every day because it doesn't help that you write it down and you forget about it and nothing ever really happens. So that's the main point of having a reflection. So after you do your gratitude, the second thing is reflecting on the previous day. These were the intentions that I had. This is how things went. Things, If things went great, that's awesome. If things didn't, what can you change and what do you want to maybe even bring to this next day that you're planning for? And then now the third thing will be writing your intentions for the next day. So next day, if you're doing it the night before or the day that you're beginning, if you're doing it in the morning. And that's it. That is absolutely it for taking the steps towards owning each day. And you might be asking yourself, how many times do I have to do it? Well, you do it as many times as you feel, you know, you want to have a bit more control of your day. And by control, I mean it in a sense of you looking at things that you actually do have control over, things that you can change, because there's no point in you stressing about things that you can't directly change yourself or there's nothing that you can do to change whatever it is that's stressing you out so that's not the main that's not the point of this whole exercise right it's to help you drive action in the right direction with the things that you do have control over and the things that you can do and thinking about things sitting down putting pen to paper you can use your phone you know whatever works for you i'm i'm a bit maybe i'm a bit old school I like writing things down, like taking a pen and a journal and write things down. That's what I like to do. So whatever works for you, you do it that way. But that is the intention for that. And to make things a bit simpler for you, I created a worksheet that's available on the Self Care Globe website, which is a platform that I created just to curate all the information that I find, even people who want to share opinion um, pieces around mental health or they want to give motivation to the next person, they write those things, send them to me and I put them up on the website for everybody to be able to get some values. I even share recipes on there that I try out 
and it's just a space where you can find information that can basically help you take care of yourself in a way that resonates best with you so i created a worksheet that basically has a little description on what owning your day through gratitude and setting clear intentions is and then it goes and has a list of the 10 different 10 different slots where you can write what you are grateful for what you are thankful for and why you're thankful for it and then it goes into the second thing that you do after you've set clear intentions for at least one day prior which is reflecting on that previous day and the intentions that you have set and then the last thing is setting intentions for the next day that you are about to embark on i do have another extra slot on that worksheet which is literally just you know just let your thoughts flow whatever it is that you want to write on there share to yourself maybe write yourself a message for the future maybe tell yourself something you wish you would have known at a previous time or whatever but it's a space for you to write just pour out your heart and when you go back and you read whatever it is that you wrote there it might be something that makes you think huh okay maybe i can do this a little better so i'm going to put a link in the description of this video that leads you directly to the worksheet or you can check it out on the website if you go to selfcareglobe.care that's selfcareglobe dot c a r e dot care and then you will find it there under the worksheets tab and it's going to be an easier way for you to just print and do the things you know to help yourself just own each day and if you do try out the three things that i mentioned today just let me know you know and also remember that it takes time to build a new habit so if you're trying to form a new habit it's going to take a bit of time and that depends on a number of things. It depends on the actual habits that you're trying to form. It depends on you as an individual. It depends on the circumstances that you find yourself in. So the environment that you find yourself in and so many other different factors. So don't be hard on yourself. Do not be hard on yourself. Just do your best to show up every day for yourself, right? It can take anything between 18 to 256 days to form a new habit so keep practicing and just try and do things consistently every single day and that's when you're going to start seeing the results from it yeah i will see you next time and i hope you have an awesome day an amazing day you know <laughs> bye for now thank you for watching